19 peeps and welcome it's kathleen from cause creations welcome to the cockeyed no bra zone <laughs> a girl's gotta do what a girl's gotta do so we went out to dinner with some good friends the other night and when we got home i got out of the car and apparently my phone fell out of my purse i don't know if you can see it but it spent the night in the street and uh, got run over a couple of times. <laughs> and I hate when that happens. So spent the day at Verizon, had to do a bunch of things, new phones on the way. So until it gets here, I have jury rigged my iPad up on my tripod, but unfortunately it doesn't fit in the tripod above that I usually film from. This is uh, to the right of my table, so that's why you have a funky, funky angle. But I will turn the canvas up now and again so that you can see everything. My phone still works, um, but when I did a video yesterday, it uh, had all the little cracks and crevices that were on the top of the screen. And you could not see the video and I loved the painting that I did I did a wonderful swipe with some really fun colors so I thought I'd give it another go using my iPad now welcome to my studio this is a long table that goes from wall to wall um, I have a little workspace over here to my right my paints to the left you can't see but there's shelves above me with paints and then Behind me is an area where I uh, sit and mix my paints. I've got a adjustable cushiony bar stool there. So it's not real wide. I'd say it's only about, let me see, probably five feet wide, but it's about 25 feet deep and it suits me just fine. And I am grateful for this space. So, uh, what are we doing today? We're working on a 20 by 20 canvas. This is not gallery wrapped. I ordered on sale to give these a try. I think I got them from Blix, the Practica canvases. Um, and so far I'm not real impressed with them. I did spray the back of this one to kind of tighten it up, but uh, it just doesn't seem as sturdy as uh, some of the other canvases I have got from Blix and Artist Loft and other people, but it's kind of a practice canvas, so it will certainly do, and the price was certainly right. Let's talk about our colors. We got some yummy colors here today, guys. Look at this. I hope you can see this whimsical, coppery, purpley goldness that is just absolutely stunning. That is Folk Art Treasure Gold, and that is their Antique Copper. This is a super cool paint, guys. It's fun to play with, and it plays well with so many other colors. Hopefully, it'll play well with the colors I picked today. Right here is Artist Loft Soft Body in the Black, and I'm sorry I don't have the container close by, but I think most of you know what the bottle of uh, Artist Loft Soft Body looks like. And then look at this yummy goodness. Can you see that, guys? How wonderful is that to play off the copper that's in that uh, antique copper? That is another treasure gold paint by Folk Art, and that is their fire opal so i'm excited i'm excited to play now this is interesting i hope you can see it this is the drippings that i did not over stir that i scraped up and then strained very slowly from the pour i did yesterday that i love but am not able to share with you because of my boo-boo on my camera and this right here, look at that yummy goodness. <laughs> oh my, I love mixing paints. I love playing with paints. That is a combination of Liquitec Basics in the Prism Purple to play off of the purple here in the Antique Copper. And I just put about a half a teaspoon or so of the Antique Copper in with the purple and it made this absolutely yummy color. 
And our final color today is in this cup right here. Let's take a look at that wonderfulness. That is PBO Studio Acrylics, and that is their Iridescent Precious Gold. I'm becoming a real fan of this, more so than the DecoArt 24 Karat Gold, but that is also a really, really nice paint. Price of this paint is really good, guys. Our pouring medium today is, I changed it up a little bit. We are 75% Flood Floetrol and 25% of the Liquitex pouring medium with some water. All of these paints took some water because none of them were fluid paints. The Folk Art paints probably took a little less water than the tube paints did. So I start off with a squirt or two until I get it to the consistency of kind of like a, a nice creamy shampoo. I hope you can see that guys. Leaves a little bit of a mound on a mound and then it dissipates into the paint below. We're going to be doing a swipe today. Our swiping tool of choice is damp paper towels. I take about six of them and I stack them all together. I take my squeeze bottle of water, squeeze the bottom inch with a nice little douse of water, flip it over and do the same thing to the other side. And then as I go, I cut that paper towel to different sizes to uh, swipe um, with different lengths and different widths. So there you have it, guys. I hope this angle is not too difficult for you. Um, I'm excited about these colors. Let's put some tunes on, guys. Let's get busy.